Now, Charles M. Schultz once said happiness is a warm puppy. That is little more than cold comfort for the so-called blue dog Democrats in Congress today. Named after the well-known blue dog created by artist George Rodriguez, more than half of these conservative Democrats were sent to the dog house by midterm voters last week. Get it? Blue dog's dog house? All right. That includes two leaders of the caucus, Stephanie Herseth uh, Sandlin of South Dakota and Baron Hill of Indiana, who suffered what fellow blue dog Jim Matheson of Utah called, quote, an old-fashioned whooping. So did these centrists do more to hurt the party than the diehard liberals by failing to defend the real challenge so many voted for in 2008? Gee, I wonder where I come out on that. And what does it mean for the future of Democrats who move to the center, including President Obama? Richard Eskow is a senior fellow with the Campaign for America's Future, and he joins me from Bank Burbank. Richard, how are you? Good to see you. Jake, I am great, and it's good to see you, too. All right. Now, Thanks listen. No problem. You, you got this controversial theory here. In Washington, they tell me the centrists are gold. They're like the America's heroes. Now, are you challenging that? Is that what's going on? Well, I think yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll cop to that. And I'll give you two reasons why, okay? One is that, you know, there's a lot of talk around Washington since the election that the progressives who think a more pro progressive agenda would have been more successful are merely posing a hypothetical. You know, we don't know if that would, would have worked. Here's what we do know. Their way didn't work. So that's position number one. Despite a, a spectacular drubbing or whooping or whatever you want to call it, they're proposing more of the same. Okay, so yes, I'm saying that there's a very odd consensus right now that says the set of policies and approaches, tactics and sales pitches that has failed so dr drastically this year, it, it, it just gives us proof that we need to do more of the same. And I don't get the logic, and I'm against it. All right, now, Richard, what they'll say back to you is, wait a minute now, uh, Alan Grayson lost, Mary Jo Kilroy lost, Russ Feingold lost, so doesn't that show you that uh, being on the left doesn't work either, at least? Well, here's the funny thing. The blue dogs were massacred. They were absolutely wiped out, and there are demographic reasons for that. So some of us who take my position, being fair-minded, say, hey, look at the demographics. A lot of those blue dogs were in frontline states. They were going to have a tough race either way. But whenever it comes to Russ Feingold, where millions of dollars were flooded into his state from outside, then all of a sudden it's, oh, no, no, don't talk about the specifics uh, of Russ Feingold. We're going to use Use Russ Feingold as proof that uh, the progressive pitch doesn't work. The reason why Russ Feingold went down, the reason why Alan Grayson went down, is because voters looked at what their party did. And their party hasn't been tough about protecting Social Security. Their party hasn't done enough to nail down the abuses of the big banks. And as long as that continues, the voters are going to punish the party. So rewarding the people that made sure that their party didn't do more to control these things to me is insanity. Uh, Richard, is the whole problem that the word centrist is a misnomer? I mean, are they really in the center of the country, the people that are being called centrist in Washington? Well, you know, that's a great point. Uh, we just did another piece today. Take Social Security. We've got this proposal out now, for a very right-wing proposal from the two uh, leaders of the Deficit Commission who can't even get their own commission to go along with it. And this proposal says we should cut Social Security so we don't have to tax the wealthy, and if anything, cut taxes on the wealthy. Now, polls have shown, including a poll we did at the Campaign for America's Future, that overwhelmingly voters would rather protect those Social Security benefits, and they'd rather see the wealthy pay more of their fair share. Now, what happens in Washington? You have a Democratic Party, uh, many of whose people uh, want to cut benefits, do the opposite of the public will. You have a Republican Party that wants to go crazy on this. You know, it's interesting. Polls show that even a majority of Republicans don't want to see these benefit cuts. So you have two points of view in Washington that uh, go uh, that vary between doing part of what the public hates and an extreme version of what the public hates, and the compromise between the two is called centrism. That, to me, is a sign that things are seriously off base in the dialogue right now. Richard, one more quick question for you. Is uh, centrist really a code word a lot of times for corporatists? Because you got guys like Evan Bayh who are like, oh, what, I'm a centrist. But it seems like their position matches up with what the big corporations and, and the richest people in the country consistently want. 
Well, absolutely true. Centri you know, the centrists love to say, I'm a centrist and I'm going to make the tough decisions and roll up my sleeves and get to work. But they don't make their tough decisions. They make the decisions that will keep the campaign dollars flowing. And so the future of any party, like the Democratic Party that wants to succeed, is to fight those very unpopular positions, even if it means you have to do the tough thing and uh, get your campaign dollars from the voters themselves instead of the corporations. All right, Richard Escal, thank you for joining us. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right. By the way, just my quick little take on this. Look, if the politicians were actually in the center of the country, I would love it. That isn't the issue. The issue is they're using it as an excuse to do what their funders wanted in the first place. And that's what we got to watch out for.